What it up? This is Saki here bringing you another tutorial and today we're going to be doing a Monte Booker sort of beat. So um, let's get it. This is the beat. I'm just going to run you through um, the bridge and the chorus and then we'll dissect the beat and like how to get different effects. And so this is... <laughs> Yeah, guys, and that is that is it for um, the beats. And okay, first things first, we're gonna start with this pluck. Uh, you're gonna wanna go into the three X oscillator, put down the oscillators three and two. There's the volume knob here. You can just lower that down. Uh, make sure that the course pitch here is on twelve, and then moving on to your ADSR. Um, uh, you would. You're going to want to have your delay all the way down, your attack all the way down, your hold all the way down. Uh, have your decay uh, sort of at around 10 o'clock or so. And um, on your release knob, have that uh, sort of by 12 o'clock. And you're going to get uh, this effect. Um, it's a really cool tone. And so what I did for this is I just arpeggiated a minor ninth chord and just added a few chords here and this is how it sounds really cool sound um what i did there is uh to make it sound much thicker i added the ott this is a free plugin you guys can just look for it online uh put the depth cells by 28 and just removed the low there and did the same with the parametric EQ to remove the low end and that's what you get um, and on the second sound is a Monte Booker pad is this is a pad that I made which is going to be in the sound bank so uh, I don't have to run over how I'm going to make this sound for you you guys are going to get it in the sound bank the free sound bank that's coming up soon and I just use minor ninth chords here. Um, this is how they sound. If you guys don't recall Monty Booker using this pad, uh, you should listen to um, this some track called Jetpack, I think is featuring Bori Allen there. And if you listen to that track, you'll be able to pick up um, the pad, the similarities there. And so um, here I just used a sine square, put it on, put the pitch on minus 24. Um, and then you would want, you want to go down here to the voicing. Make sure that your max voicing is 1 and your unison is at 1. That'll help your um, 808 not to clash. And uh, what I did here is just added a first distortion. This is the sidechain. I sidechained the kick with this. Um, uh, removed a bit of the sub. And then uh, I used uh, Pro Q2. Yeah, just got rid of uh, the resonant peaks, which were sounding very unpleasant. Uh, and how this 808 sounds on its own is like this. Really awesome. Monty Booker uses this 808 specifically. I'm sure you guys will be able to pick it up. 
if you go to his Instagram stories, the beats that he's been playing there, I can guarantee that he's using the same 808. And uh, if it's not the same 808, it's the same exact sound. It, it was just done in a different way, but that's the exact 808 there. Um, here, I just put some hi-hats. Um, I used a stereo effect, which I'm going to go into, but this is how the hi-hats sound. And so to get that really cool stereo effect, I see like some folks using um, uh, fancy plugins, but here you don't need any fancy plugins. This is the hat, and you can see here on the effects rack that there's nothing at all. Now what I do to like get that cool effect is um, I pan my hat all the way to the right, and here on... On the echo delay parameter, I just uh, put the feed all the way up and pan this this knob opposite of this knob here. You have to pan it in the opposite direction to get the stereo effect. And the echoes, put them on one and ping pong mode and just set your time up here to uh, one millisecond. And you're going to get this really cool uh, stereo effect you can use that on uh, most of your percussions but i'd advise you not to overdo it um it eventually gets boring when it's overly done so i just use it on certain percussions there um uh, next was uh the vocal chop you guys can make your own vocal chops but if you want this one um uh, you can holler at me um, I'm on Twitter, you can just holler at me there and I'll send you guys this vocal chop. Uh, this is the kicks. Um, I've made the kick a bit tiny to get more room for the uh, to get more room for the 808 to sit on can just increase this out knob and uh, you you don't need to use a plugin to roll off the high end you can just use this uh, pl this uh, knob here as you can see it's a low pass filter it will like get rid of all your highs it's a really cool feature that I think is slept on um, here's a snare um, I used the same technique here again and I just trimmed it because it was a bit messy. And for the percussions, oh, the percussions, this is, I doubt you can really teach a person how to get groove in the percussions and like how to make them sound like Monty Booker does. But what, what he says he does is uh, he switches off his uh, snap to grid and he just uh, like manually places his percussions in the piano roll. Um, what you can do is, what I can do is I can like single out the percussions and I can just single out the drums for you so you're able to hear what I'm talking about. That is just uh, pretty much it for this entire tutorial. Um, on the next tutorial, if you want me guys to um, to just uh, set up a uh, tutorial that that works on, sorry, I keep on burping. If you just want me to do a tutorial that specializes on the percussions, you guys can just follow me through. You can just send me. Uh, um, a request on Twitter or you can leave comments so that is pretty much it for this tutorial and guys please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I'll see you on the next tutorial peace